New at five, fatal shootings in Durham trending down. New data from the Durham Police Department shows four murders this year compared to more than double that this time last year. CBS 70's Ben Boken joins us live from police headquarters with a look at what some community advocates are calling a step in the right direction. Ben. Murders in Durham increased last year. Many of the suspects, very young, and many of the victims, also very young. But new statistics from police show that this year, the city is in a better place compared to this point last year. April 2023, 17-year-old Kedron Pettiford is shot and killed near Carter Avenue in Durham. His death, one of many fatal shootings throughout 2023. It just truly, truly breaks my heart. And um, and if, as an educator, the one thing you don't want to do is to have to, to bury a student. But as of early March, Durham police statistics show four people have been shot and killed so far this year, compared to nine at this point in 2023. We're not doing enough to disincentivize folks picking up guns or engaging in activity where guns are necessary, especially when you're looking at the drug gang enterprise. The number of people who have been shot throughout the city is also on a downward trend. Several of the victims are 18 years old or younger. And the way that we're going to be able to effectively combat gun violence is having a, a multi-pronged strategy around dealing with those social issues that permeate gun violence in our community, mainly poverty. Local advocates and school officials say it's important that people continue to come forward with information when a crime happens. It is making sure that people feel comfortable of, of talking about what's going on in their community. That is so important. In the recent past, the Durham police chief has said that something that played a part in the number of shootings increasing last year was the gunfire, technolo gunfire detection technology shot spotter. But the city council voted that down, a, a contract extension for that program officially last week. So that service is no longer existing throughout the city right now. We're live in Durham. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. All right, Ben, thank you.